In this video, we're going to show you how to correctly and safely operate the bandsaw. The bandsaw allows you to cut plastics and wood in curved or straight lines. This makes it a pretty versatile piece of equipment. Before using the bandsaw, you will need to familiarise yourself with the operation of the machine and its safety systems. The blade is guarded by a blade guide. This guide should be adjusted to allow the material to slide underneath, while keeping a maximum distance of 1cm between the top of the material and the bottom of the guide. When you're done using the bandsaw, please extend the guide down to the bed. When pushing material through the bandsaw, it is important to keep your fingers out of the cutting area, which is marked here on the bed. Use a push stick where necessary, and keep any loose hair or clothing tied back when using the machine. There are three bandsaws in the iForge. The smaller red bandsaw is for cutting metal only. The two larger bandsaws are for cutting wood and plastic. On the bed of the bandsaw, there are adjustable fences that can help guide the material. These should be used to help measure and cut straight lines. The fences can be set to two different configurations and can be adjusted using two Allen bolts. The bed angle can be adjusted as shown. Please ensure you return the bed to the normal position when you're done with the machine. A dust extraction unit is located next to the bandsaw. This must be turned on when operating the machine, as wood and plastic dust can cause health issues when inhaled. When you're ready to use the bandsaw, you need to insert the key into the e-stop and turn. Then engage the electromagnetic brake using the grey switch. You can now turn on the machine using the green button. Use the red button to turn the machine off. You can also use the emergency stop to turn off the machine. This needs to be pulled out and reset before the machine can be restarted. When you're done with the machine, please reset the grey electromagnetic brake switch and remove the key. Return the key to reception when you're done. There are a number of risks involved in operating the bandsaw. We will go over some of these potential risks and describe how to minimise them. Some of the risks include laceration to hands or fingers when using the machine. This risk can be reduced by adjusting the guide to the proper height every time. Avoid putting your hands too close to the blade by using a push stick and use fences where appropriate. Another risk is entrapment of loose hair, clothing or jewellery. This can be avoided by tucking in any baggy clothing, keeping long hair tied back and by removing any jewellery. There is also a risk of debris or material being ejected from the machine. You must wear safety glasses at all times and use the guards and guides. Another risk is particle inhalation. This can be wood or plastic dust kicked up while cutting. To mitigate this, you must ensure the dust extraction is switched on and please wear a face mask. Remember, if you're feeling unsure about operating the bandsaw and need advice, please come to Ask an iFord Rep and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you for listening and we're looking forward to seeing you guys around the iForge.